bright murals across Spokane may make you smile. They might make you remember. They could offer a sign of hope or inspiration or may make you think. You'd never know the artist behind these colorful images once lived in darkness. My father was a gang member in Southern California. My mom's still an addict on the streets in California. Nobody's really doing nothing with their life. A little bit of that cobalt to make this kind of purple. Daniel Lopez doesn't speak about where he came from the same way he paints it. My whole life, you know, in despair and <laughs> nothing productive until God came into my life. And it's just, it's night and day, it's black and white. He covers his white canvases with scenes from the Bible and characters that look like him, his Mexican and Native American family, and the Hispanic people he grew up with in Ventura, California. There's a big part of my family that we were wild, passionate people, and we struggled together and we fought together, you know, and, and there's some, some strong bonds there. And they're bonds that still connect despite his own addiction to heroin. As soon as I was starting to develop, the addiction was right there in front of my face. He was smoking marijuana at age 12, shooting heroin by 15. But he still saw a stroke of hope with the graffiti artists he shot up with. We were painting flowers and statues and a lot of ex uh, exercises. I didn't know much about art. But the graffiti was like, wow, what is this? You know, they got these colorful letters and characters and backgrounds. I, it, was, it was interesting. I definitely was intrigued by it. The pictures he brought to life on a wall weren't enough to bring Daniel to life. Transparent layers over layers over layers. Until he came to Spokane for rehab, found God, and ditched drugs after 20 years of being hooked. If you work for something, you can get out of anything, you know, you can dig yourself out of a hole. It's a hole and struggle he doesn't ignore in his work. That's one of the most beautiful things I think about art is that it's subjective. People will see the first thing they relate in their life to something. I would hope that the person leaves change somehow, you know, after viewing my art or something that maybe made them think about life. Brushing over the messy parts would make it less beautiful. In Spokane, I'm Kalai Chalk, KHQ Local News.